This is a step-by-step -step tutorial that explains how we can automatically rename files uploaded through Google Forms in Google Drive. Let's get started. Here I have created a job application Google Form where candidates are required to upload their resume and profile photo along with their name, age, email address and preferred location. For resumes, I have specified the file upload format as PDF and file size to be not more than 10 MB. Now Google assigns a separate folder inside the Google Drive to collect all the files uploaded for the resume field. Similarly, for collecting photos, I have specified the file format as image and this is the default Google Drive folder where all the uploaded photos will be stored. Now I'll quickly fill this form with some dummy data. The form has been submitted. Let's open the Google Drive folders and check how the uploaded files have been saved. This is the folder for resumes. As you may recall, the original name for this file was resume.pdf. But here, Google has modified the original file name and appended the Google account profile name of the person who filled the form, which in this case is the Fruit Inc. Let's switch to the photo folder the file name has been changed here as well. Now file uploads are an extremely useful feature of Google Forms, but there are two basic limitations. One, all the file names are fixed and derived from the original file name that was uploaded by the form respondent. There's no way to rename the files. Second, there's no way to change the default Google Drive folder in which all the uploaded files should be stored. All uploads go in the same folder and you cannot organize the file uploads in subfolders either. This is where Document Studio can help. The add-on lets you create workflows to automatically rename files and copy or move them to separate folders as soon as they are uploaded in your Google Drive through Google Forms. If the add-on isn't already installed, you can install it by visiting this link. We'll also put this link in the video description below. Once the add-on is installed, let's launch it inside Google Forms. You will see this little puzzle icon here that shows a list of your Google Form extensions. Click on the icon and choose Document Studio to launch the add-on. Create a new workflow and give this workflow a descriptive name. This is the Google Sheet linked to the form which will store all the form responses. You can click on this button to open the responses sheet in a new browser tab. Now here, the workflow will process all the new form responses by default. However, if you want to process only specific responses that match certain criteria, say responses where the preferred city is New York, then such conditions can be specified here. Let's keep things simple for now and process all form responses and continue. Document Studio is a very versatile Google add-on which can be integrated with a lot of applications like Airtable, Telegram, Trello, WhatsApp and the list keeps growing. For renaming and moving file uploads, select file uploads from this list of tasks. Now here we have the option to copy or move uploaded files from the default Google Drive folder to another folder or we can choose to only rename files in their original folder itself. First, let's create a task to rename all file uploads for profile photos. Select profile photo from the list of questions. In this rename file field, we can specify the new name for the uploaded files. The default name right now is filename.extension which refers to the original name of the file as uploaded by the user in Google Form. 
Here we have a list of dynamic markers which we can use to rename the files. These markers will be replaced by the actual answers provided in the Google form response. Similarly, this file extension marker will be replaced by the extension of the file uploaded by the respondent, like PNG or JPG. So now we have added a task to rename file uploads for profile photos. Let's add another task, this time for moving the resume files to a different Google Drive folder and organizing them in subfolders. Since we are moving resume PDFs in this task, let's select that from the list of questions. This is where you select the destination folder where the files should be moved. This opens the Google File Picker. You can either select a folder in your Google Drive or you can even move the files to a folder in shared drives. Document Studio can also organize the files by creating subfolders inside the destination folder. These folders can have dynamic markers whose value changes based on the form answers. So if I specify the subfolder path as year slash preferred city, two subfolders will be added in the parent folder for storing the files. We can also rename the uploaded files here. The row number marker will have the index of the form response as stored in the Google Sheet. So now we have added two tasks, one for renaming profile photos and the other for moving and organizing resume files inside the Google Drive. Document Studio lets you add any number of tasks in a workflow. Let's continue. Now I want this workflow to run each time a new form response is submitted. So I'll check the option that says run on form submit. For the last step, you can either save the workflow or run it immediately. If you choose save, the rename workflow will run for all new responses that are received from now onwards. However, if you want to process old responses that were received before setting up the workflow, choose save and run. Let's save it for now. So our workflow has been created and saved. Now let's fill the form again and check whether the uploaded files are being renamed. The form has been submitted. Let's open the Google Drive folder for profile photos now. As you can see, this is the new file uploaded. The file name contains the name of the candidate as well as the city as entered in the form response. The file above is the old one. Let's open the resume folder now. Since we didn't run the workflow, the previous file is here as it is. Here is the subfolder for year city and this is the renamed file. The 3 in parenthesis is the row number for the response as stored in the Google Sheet. Everything is working as expected. Let me show you one more thing. I'll open the Google Sheet linked to this form. So this is the sheet and as you can see it contains all the form responses received. Document Studio adds a couple of new columns that show the status of each task in the workflow. This cell for one file moved is hyperlinked and it contains the link to the new folder where the file has been saved. So this is how you can easily move, organize and rename file uploads from Google Forms in Google Drive using Document Studio. You can open this link to know more about the capabilities and features of Document Studio. And do check out our website digitalinspiration.com for more such useful add-ons for Google Sheets and Google Forms.